no one really needs an introduction to Channel Islands. It's uh, the biggest surf brand in the world. We've had uh, one in the previous two seasons. We had the Rocket Wide and then, of course, the, the Mid. The Mid uh, caused quite a stir and um, rightly so. I think it was a great board. This is a new model. So the Happy was kind of like an all-round short board, uh, squash around it pin. This is the step-up version. It's called the Happy Traveler. Um, for slightly bigger conditions and for traveling. So a board you can travel with that'll go in pretty much anything, but it'll, it will handle bigger, chunkier surf. And I mean, if you look at the Channel Islands marketing video for this board, a lot of chopu, a lot of Hawaii, a lot of like sort of bigger waves. So I was very excited to get it. They've sent it to me as well for the smaller days in the epoxy. So in their... Um, in their epoxy, which is quite different to anything I've ever seen, to be quite honest. And um, obviously no stringer, just the carbon up there and up there. And it is really light, like super light. Feels good under the arm. You can see it's got a lot of nose rocker, okay? Which means obviously that you're gonna be handling those, those big gnarly takeoffs. Really nice narrow rounded uh, pin looking down the deck a little bit of a double going through to a single i think there's definitely a reverse v through the nose can be surfed as a thruster or a quad i'm leaning towards thruster on this kind of shape but if we get if we get some hollow reef break or or beachy with barrels i might go to the quad um it's got a beautiful rail line and just just looks good. Looks like, a, you know, what you'd expect from a Channel Islands. So I'm um, pretty excited to surf it. And uh, the only board that came in white. I was found here. You come around here. Traveller by Channel Islands. I mean, a whole lot of media around this board just before I got it for season three. It's kind of marketed as that uh, board you want to take if you're going traveling. It's like, it's a step up, but it's a short board centric step up. That's kind of what I got out of their marketing. Saw a lot of the Channel Islands team surfing some pretty heavy reef breaks like Chopu and Cloud Break. And so, I thought if we're going to get a happy traveler, let's do something a little bit different because there's been a lot of like footage on it and, and reviews from the pros. So we got it in epoxy. Uh, I think it might have been the first happy traveler in epoxy. And I went looking at that sort of step up theme uh, all rounder. I went for a 6.6. Normally, you know, my shortboard 6.2, 6.4. So I went a little bit longer 
and it had a nice bit of volume and with the epoxy it paddled off the bat like really good. I started surfing it as a thruster using the Scarfini, uh, the new Scarfini carbon thruster set and the board felt great. Um, obviously on the west coast we, we just got like a heavy beach break session and on the right it kind of just felt like a little bit drifty on some of my turns. Like uh, maybe my foot was a bit far forward but I look at the footage and it wasn't. Um, on the backhand, geez, it felt so good on the backhand. I clicked with it almost immediately. Could really do some big turns and really lean into those backhand turns on the board. It felt really good. Um, definitely a board if I was going to like Mentawise or Fiji or somewhere where I know I'm going to surf big hollow lefts. Straight away, I can tell you, great board. I I'd want one. <laughs> sessions at Vic Bay because I, I had to do pickups at Vic Bay uh, kind of like smaller day the board felt really good um, I was able to get vertical on it I was able to really put it on a rail really nice drive down the line and I mean you do not struggle to catch waves on this board at all um, I again though on the, the thruster just kind of felt like a little bit like I would lose it sometimes just off the, when I was really pushing hard on my front side calf. Um, so for the next session, I decided I was going to go quad. And I mean, I'm not a huge, not really massively into quads. I don't know why. I like twins. I like thruster. Um, but I went quad and instantly felt a change in the board on the front side. Surfed some pretty heavy Vic Bay, uh, like solid, like four to six foot Vic. And it was a bit of a bump on it. But the quad, the quad just handled great. Uh, instantly felt a little bit more sort of nice down the line flow, and it definitely held a lot better on off the bottom and into those big, big roundhouse calves and down calves. So, interestingly, I would have thought thruster all the way. It ended up going much better as a quad for me, and I think that if I had to get the Happy Traveler again. I would probably go an inch down. I would go from a 6.6 to a 6.5 and like maybe a litre, two litres less volume. And I think I would definitely go PU. I wouldn't get it in the epoxy again. Um, I think maybe the epoxy was a bit light for, for, for the, the board you want in the conditions you want to surf that happy travel in. But as marketed, you know, like the all-rounder, you can surf it and everything, but it'll handle sort of in those step-up situations. I mean banging it out the park it's exactly as advertised so great board really enjoyed surfing it might make a few changes if i get a new one 
uh, I think PU in shorter um, and also obviously coming down in shape I think the tail would come in a little bit and I think that would probably solve that issue I had with the thruster so super stoked on the happy traveler highly recommend and remember that we are currently on site shooting season four of the regular guy so something to look forward to we're in production it's going to be six mid lengths uh, from six different manufacturers around south africa there are going to be some pretty different boards and i think with the current hysteria around mid lengths it's a good time for us to do that test so look out we're going to head to the south coast and uh, test six boards and of course I'll have my prize winner from my social media competition Dylan Redring along for the ride so keep an eye out remember to please subscribe you subscribing and favoriting these videos really helps us with the show and I hope you enjoyed season three of the regular guy we'll see you for season four